Boeing rolls out its biggest Dreamliner yet, the 787-10. If you fly United Airlines, Singapore Airlines, British Airways, ANA, Eva Air, and a handful of others, you could soon be taking a ride on this beauty. Behold the 787-10 Dreamliner from Boeing. What makes a Dreamliner so special? Check out that body and wings made of highly advanced composite and lighter weight materials. Look how they bend. All a part of what Boeing says makes for a smoother ride. The 787-10 is bigger than the 787-9 and the 787-8. How much bigger? We're talking 18 feet, enough to give his little brother an inferiority complex. This means that in a typical configuration, an airline can add an additional 40 seats compared with the 787-9 for a total of 330 passengers. And down in the belly, count on stuffing in an extra 15% more cargo that you know you're going to pay extra for. Damn baggage fees. Boeing says the 787-10 is 10 to 25% more fuel efficient than older planes or the competition. So the economics work out for the airline. But the extra weight means the 787-10 is intended for shorter routes compared with the 787-9. Boeing was considering making the 787-10 in Mexico until this guy showed up. Just kidding. Boeing had planned to make the 787-10 in South Carolina all along and thought it would be nice to invite the orange guy anyway. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Here are some more cool things happening in aviation. Airbus files patent for removable cabin modules. French airmaker Airbus has come up with a new way to shave off time between flights. The patent designs the company released detail removable cabin modules, which could be swapped in and out of an aircraft to reduce turnaround time between flights. Airbus's concept for removable cabin modules would have passengers board a detached cabin from a docking station in anticipation of a plane's arrival. Passengers seat themselves while their luggage is stored, reducing processing time for boarding. Once the empty aircraft arrives in the terminal, the fully loaded cabin container would be lowered into the plane, locking into place before the plane departs. Once the flight lands at its destination, it pulls into a new gate at the airport, where the removable cabin would detach and be lifted up into a docking station. The plane would then be prepared to take on a new cabin of passengers. Although plans for such planes may never become a reality, it sure is fun to imagine less of a mess and less stress when it comes to flying. French company designs face-to-face airplane seating. A French manufacturer of aircraft passenger seats has filed a patent for a new seating design that would increase cabin capacity by having passengers face each other. The design is being met with strong objection by potential travelers. Zodiac Seats France's latest design called Economy Class Cabin Hexagon alternates the cabin seats between facing forward and facing backwards in order to increase cabin density. The bottoms of the seat can be folded up allowing passengers to access the middle and window seats. The company claims that the new design can increase space for the shoulder and arm areas as well as give each passenger four more inches of leg room. However, the company says it has no plans to put the new design into production at the moment. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Airbus files a patent for stacked passenger seating. French aircraft maker Airbus is foretelling the possible future of air travel, whether you like it or not, with designs for cabin seating wherein flyers would be arranged in alternating rows on upper and lower levels. Hoping to make better use of unused upper lobe space in wide-bodied models such as the A380, Airbus has filed patents in Europe and the United States for split-level seating configurations. With what the company calls mezzanine seating, more passengers could recline to a flat, lying position. The proposed seating configurations would allow airlines to fit more people into a plane than they do currently. The economic benefits to airlines are obvious, but flyers may not be ready for these controversial ideas. Floating, weird seating arrangements is nothing new for Airbus. Last year, it filed a patent for standing saddle seats. 